Brad, I'm sure that's the effort you've been looking for. What stood out for you in the win? Um, I thought we were pretty courageous. Um, as a club, even our cup boys today, like they've, they've been struggling a bit, but as a club, I just thought we were courageous today and just shows that the boys do care. Um, and it's hard to be at our best every week, but um, yeah, the, the effort was there and there was a real desire and real want. And we've just got to try and find that every week. Were you starting to question whether they cared? I mean, in t inside the four walls, I'm sure. No, no, know, because but... I see them every day. Um, and I think maybe a bit of... Well, with our start today, we were a bit jittery too, so maybe a bit of nerves there, I'm not sure. Um, a bit down on confidence. But, um, you know, like they just toughed it out and they were courageous and they just kept fighting and fighting and fighting, which shows that they do care and they want it. Look, you, you don't... You can't turn it around, beat a team like that, hang on. Um, I think they've scored the most points in the comp. Mm. And defence has, you know, was, has been a bit of an issue for us over the last couple of weeks and, you know, we scrambled really well. You made some changes. Talk us through how you think they played out for you tonight. Um... Oh, obviously, the obvious one is DJ. He's done a really good job. You know, I was happy for him that he got the ice the moment at the end of the game. You know, so it's pleasing for him. You know, and there's still some things there that, you know, we'll continue to work with him on. But overall, um, he got an opportunity to ice a big moment. And, you know, so I'm, I'm happy for him. Do you, do you, were you happy as well because they did target him initially when you talk about the start that they had? They yeah. Were, they looked like that was their play. Yeah, and he didn't drop his head. Um, and he just... Stuck to it and the boys got around him, which is, a, a, again, a sign that, that we do care because they got around him and made sure that um, they looked after him um, and got him to get the job done at the end. I Sorry. I feel like that left edge generally was a target um, with, with Morgan and, and Bailey there on the wing. How do you feel those two went tonight? I thought they'd done a real good job. You know, we, we had our, some teething issues there on one or two, but when you're playing against a team... They just are at you all the time and they're a threat. It's hard work. Well, you know, like they, they've got a split second to make a decision. Do we jam or do we hold? Um, and overall, with the amount of footy they threw at us, I thought they'd done a really good job. Do you feel like that combo can sort of do the job going forward? Oh, look, I need to go back and watch it, but, you know, they've done the job for me tonight. Why can't they? And what about Dylan Brown? Felt like he was most comfortable he's been managing the game these last three weeks. Yeah, but I, I thought he's done a really good job um, the, the first two weeks. He's kicked really well. Um, he can't manage other people making errors or missing tackles. He's done a great job for us, actually. Um, so, and again, tonight, yeah, yeah, he was nice and comfortable there. DJ just offers that bit more experience for us. You were pretty confident during the week when people were talking about things like your future, saying it comes up all the time. But is there, is there a bit of a relief after a win like that against a good team? Well, mate, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about the team and the club and that we go out there and try and be at our best every week. Sorry, just jagging these wins without Moses just must be feels even more important than usual. Is, is that fair to say without your main playmaker? Just yeah, well, he'll help when he comes back, obviously. Um, but I still think you know, like the game here a couple of weeks ago, we we did enough to put ourselves in a position to win that, so we should have won that. Um, that's what probably adds a bit of disappointment to tonight. You know, we can put that effort in against a team that was flying, and um, yeah, we, we we missed an opportunity a couple of weeks ago and we missed too many opportunities last year and they end up costing you. What about your front rowers? Um, junior coming on, they seem to, after the Cowboys looked better in the first 10 minutes, they, Junior and Regan took control of the middle yeah, of the field. Yeah, they just work, you know, non-stop for us and we had to use all their inner change up at the back end of the game and I need to get some fresh middles out there because they were just coming at us fast and hard and they, just, you know, what Rich just keeps getting the job done for us. Junior comes on and, you know, I told him about on five occasions I was going to get him off and said, just get him another message, he has to stay there for me. And they just keep doing it. So, um, yeah, they, they, all the middles were very good. Gabby, what about the players? The coach obviously said it's about the team, not about him, but obviously it, it, without a result tonight, you know what the rugby league circus is. It, the pressure builds on, on him. <coughs> Did the players feel that, that you wanted to get this result, not only as a club but also for the coach? Winning helps everything. Um, you lose two in a row, after, then no matter how, how many games you won before that, there's always going to be talk. And all you need to do to, to shut that off is, is win, and that's what we've done tonight. But it's, it's rugby league. You're back at it again next week. You say it after a loss, but after a win, it's even more so important. So uh, we just have to make sure we're ready to go against the Dolphins next week and keep them 
away from us while they're, while they're not talking, but winning beats everything. Brad. I mean, he, he just looked like he was not going to take a loss tonight. Well, it's we... just expected. <laughs> like, he, yeah, like, I could talk about him every week, but he just does the same for us every week. He just, he's a winner and he wants to, he wants to win and he takes the disappointment, um, you know, and he feels like he lets me down, his team down and the club when we lose and he can't do any more than what he's doing. And I think everyone at our club knows that and appreciates it. I certainly do. Brad, a couple of boys on report there in the first half, Dill and Bryce. Anything to worry about there from where you stand? I don't know. I'd need to watch them again. I didn't think there was much in them at the time. Um, I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't see it real good. But, um, yeah. But, look, just we want to finish as a club. Um, our thoughts go out to the, the people today that might have been affected by the tragedy in the Bondi um, there. So, yeah, as a club, we're, you know, our thoughts with them. Just lastly, when you set up that try in the 61st minute, I know it was a long way out, but did you feel like you had them even that far out? You seemed to have a lot more energy. What was the mood like on the park that far out? Oh, you never know. It's rugby league. It's a, it's a strange old game, and you have to fight till the 80th minute. They were still in it, 80th minute. So you never think you, if you think you've got the win, it's, that's when you start losing. So you can never think like that.